Wow, I got completely blindsided. I don't know where to start. I made a video about Cam Newton being the starter for the Patriots and that Cam Newton was going to be the future. But little did I know, Cam Newton today got released. What is up, guys? Bringing you guys some video here today. Mac attack. Now, I wanted to start off by saying I want to apologize to Patriot fans because, man, um, I was ripping Mac Jones. Now, I wasn't necessarily calling him garbage or trash, but I simply implied the fact that Cam Newton was going to be the starter and he's going to be the starter and he's the best quarterback they have. However, it did not turn out to be like that. So, anyways, without further ado, Mac attack, here he goes. Mac Jones right here, Stephon Gilmore. Now, I recently brought gameplay with the Chiefs. Now, my gameplays are all random because these are online head-to-head -head games, so they're all randomized. I don't know what my opponent plays with. So, I ended up getting matched up against the Chiefs. However, I got another gameplay right here coming up, so stay tuned. And if you guys enjoy content like this, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, I would like to hear you guys' opinions. Do you guys agree with the Patriots and Bill Belichick's decision on getting rid of Cam Newton? I am lost for words. I personally believe that Mac Jones was going to be a bench warmer until Cam Newton maybe give him a year and then we'll see what happens in the near future, right? Little did I know the exact opposite happened. Right here, Kyle Van Noy. Shout out to Kyle Van Noy, a former Miami Dolphin, heading back to the Patriots. One of my favorite players and very likable person to say the least character-wise. But right here, Patrick Mahomes on a 4th and 19 ends up missing the conversion. However, he ends up getting the completion but didn't really do much there that drive. However, we got Mac Attack Jones. Patriot fans, are we going to be seeing them this year? Are we going to be seeing this this year? Oh, Nelson Aguilar. Now, the last time I brought gameplay with the Patriots, which was Cam Newton starting, FYI. Nelson Aguilar completely turned it up, so let's freaking go. Fourth and 12, Mahomes. Mahomes scanning the field, trying to get something going and just miscommunication all the way. And you guessed it. My opponent ends up quitting that fast. So let's right hop into the next one. Going against the Carolina Panthers and Sam Darnold. Now, the Carolina Panthers are a very interesting team to say the least as well because... Just last year, I believe, they had Teddy Bridgewater. Now they completely jumped into Sam Darnold. And right here, Mac Attack showing off some wheels. Now, one thing I noticed about Mac Jones, he has decent speed. He's not necessarily the fastest, obviously. I mean, you don't have to say that, but he's able to make certain runs. Kind of reminds me of a Jimmy Garoppolo, if that makes any sense. And right there is a bad coaching decision on my part. I end up missing the first down by a yard. So if I was a coach in the NFL, I'd probably be fired. And just like this, DJ Moore wearing number six. Or no, that's number six. Number two, Sam Dardo connecting with his touchdown already leading into the first touchdown of the game. So me, with that being said, I'm like, no, it doesn't matter. I keep striving right here, hitting Hunter Henry. Now, Hunter Henry and Giano Smith are one of my favorite tight ends in the NFL. So shout out for the Patriots for making a lot of free agent moves because the Patriots don't really make free agent moves. Ever since they got rid of Tom, or ever since Tom Brady left to the Buccaneers, you can see the Patriots have to make moves. And right here, hitting Myers in for the touchdown. Can we get a dot from Mac Jones? So, yeah, the Patriots were like, you know what? That Tom Brady phase, it's over with. We got to move on from that. So, they definitely went up on a free agency, picked up even Matthew Judon, which is a very good pass rusher. And right here, my Bentley truck, right here, getting an interception. The Patriots have a player named Bentley. Now, I've been knowing this, but for some reason, he even changed his number to a college number, maybe number eight. So, hey, shout out to Bentley. Swerving into Bentley right there. Let's get it right here. We got the interception. We got to capitalize on every turnover because going against the Panthers, they are a very decent team. So, you know, the Panthers, at the end of the day, even with them moving on from quarterbacks to quarterbacks, they're still a pretty decent team. So, Panther fans, a lot of love to you guys. As a matter of fact, I got a love for I got love for every team. And when I say love, I mean I want them to do good. Patriot fans, even though we play you guys week one, as a Dolphin fan speaking, there's still a lot of, mm, I guess, support for you guys because I know the fan base is very good and strong. And right here, I got completely blindsided. Mac Jones getting sacked. So at this point in time, a lot of times you would think that you want to force it into the end zone, but no, take what you can. And right here, we end up getting a few yards. Not the first down, but we end up getting a few yards. And let me tell you guys a tip real quick. Sometimes in football, 
You got third and fourth quarter, and you got a lot of other time to play. So do not force things. Look, we take the lead. It's no biggie. Even though we wanted a touchdown, it still doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we still got a lot of game left. Right here, Sam Darnold, 180, Omaha, say, hut, hut. making some audibles right here real quick. Trying to get something going on offense. Let's see right here. 7 and 10, the first. Oh, I was going to say the first quarter. The second quarter right here coming into the two-minute warning. And DJ Moore is turning it up a notch. So, like I said, we got a lot of football left. We do not care if we get field goals because at the end of the day, Devin McCourty defense stands up and let's freaking go. A pick six could go all the way showboating himself into the end zone Devin McCourty still one of my favorite free safeties in the NFL if not the best as well because his ability to make reads and just being able to be there on certain plays where some other safeties in Madden do not be there for some odd reason Devin McCourty is and Donna Hightower coming off the COVID restriction list which he voluntarily opted out last year if you guys do remember a lot of Patriot players definitely opted out just completely dominate on defense let's freaking do it mac jones all he has to do is keep the ball play smart don't throw picks don't throw pick sixes etc etc and hold on just a minute he or cj mccaffrey or christian mccaffrey damn i'm tripping over here my bad christian mccaffrey out there making some plays nothing necessarily the most however the patriots defense is dominant right here we're on a third and five let's see what can happen sam darnold snaps it trying to get something going darnold Darnold and it is incomplete. No one is open. Shut down defense. Let's freaking get it. Again, if you guys are enjoying this video, I appreciate it. If you guys are watching it up to this point, go ahead and comment your favorite team. I'll be more than happy to bring gameplay on them. Trust me, I am very responsive on that. That's something I really like to look to do. And right here, the moment of truth a fourth and five. Sam Darnold, what can he do? Is he going to do something great? I don't know. But you guys most likely guessed it. Sam Darnold snaps it and it's incomplete. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate all the support. Again, you already know the story. He ends up quitting. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It means a lot that you guys are supporting by watching these videos. And as always, have a great day.